Hi, and welcome on News Now, Belmont Journal, news show and community update. I'm your host, Maribel Carvajal de Salazar. Today with us, Sita Berner and Joe Michaud. They are gonna talk about the skate park in Belmont. Welcome for being here. Thank you for having us. Yeah, it's a pleasure to be here. Thank you. So please tell us, what is a skate park? Well, um, a skate park is a recreational space for different wheeled sports, not just skateboards, but also BMX, scooters, inline skates, uh, wheelchair motocross, and skateboards. And it, is, uh, it has design features that the people who practice these sports can hone their skills, they can practice, they can watch each other, they can interact. And it's a space for them to come together and do that. And um, it's a place where people of different ages who practice these sports can meet. Um, so it has multiple users, multiple users, and uh, it is a one space that brings them all together. And it's usually made uh, nowadays uh, custom concrete. Is that's that's what it's made of. All right. So what got you interested in having a skate park in Belmont? Hmm. Well, my son got a skateboard for a present and he, I watched him teach himself how to skateboard and watch videos and just like I'm sure Joe got into it um, in, and he'll tell about that. But I saw what positive impact it had on my son. Uh, you know, he was self-motivated. He was persevering. He would fall off. He would pick himself back up. He would try again. So it built all these character traits. I saw them uh, come out in him. And uh, whenever I took him to skate parks, he would meet supportive people and, uh, you know, get fresh air and exercise. And he wanted to do it for hours. So um, I wondered if there was interest in getting a skate park in Belmont. And I started looking into it. Joe. Um, I thought that I was very interested in a, uh, in a skate park in Belmont because I, I skateboard and in Belmont there aren't many places that are very good for skating and so I'd travel to other towns, use their skate parks and after a while it, it became a hassle to get to the other towns so it would be great to be able to easily get to a skate park in Belmont and that's what got me interested. So what is it like to skateboard in Belmont? Where, where do you go? Um. Well, I skateboard. There's lots of different places around Belmont. There's Wellington. There's um, the center. There's everywhere. There's lots of little curbs, little um, just flat ground areas, places that aren't really meant for skating, but um, that's the best that there is in Belmont. So that's what we have to make do with. So why does Belmont need a skateboard park? Skateboard. Um, so just to piggyback on what Joe said, we when we started looking at this question, we did a survey of families and of students. And we had 579 students fill out uh, the student survey. And 83% of them were users of a wheeled sport. Like uh, majority of them were skateboarders. Um, and then many were scooters. All of the wheel sports that I mentioned earlier, we have tons of people using those sports or practicing those sports in Belmont. Uh, just like, uh, you know, nationwide, those are becoming uh, ways that kids uh, have unstructured, self-motivated exercise. And uh, we found that the majority of kids um, are practicing on the streets. And it is not safe. You know, it raises a number of issues. One is safety. Those roads are not meant for skateboarding. They, they worry about cars. Um, and another uh, concern that comes up is that they get negative feedback because they are forced into using spaces that are not meant for that activity. So whenever they, because they don't have another solution, the kids are making their own solution and they're getting negative feedback for it. So many times they get a sign that says, this activity is not allowed here. They're asked to leave, they're asked to stop. There's a noise complaint. And uh, kids are affected by that. You know, they're doing a wholesome sport that they love, um, which is good for their health and good for interaction. And they're getting uh, scolded. And so um, there's a number of reasons why a skate park would 
resolve many of those uh, issues and provide something good in return. So yeah. that, that's one of the reasons. Joe, can you tell us about the other uh, towns escape parks? Um, yes, uh, in different towns, there's um, each town has their own different skate park built differently. It has different features, a different flow. Um, in Lexington, it's a very uh, there's two there's two different sections of it that each uh, have rails, have ledges, have ramps, uh, obstacles that you can trow um, you can move through the park and skate as you go. Uh, I know in um, uh, Alston, there's a skate park that has um, a pump track where you can ride along without having to push. Um, the skate parks uh, are different around here and not different from everywhere, but they're different from each other and they're unique and interesting and fun to skate. <laughs> yes, and Joe, uh, how do you think the students will uh, feel having a skate park in Belmont? Um, from what we've heard in the survey, the students support it fully. Sita has the numbers to prove it, um, but some of the responses we got from the students um, were just overwhelmingly positive towards having a skate park in Belmont. Yeah. yeah, we got so many thank yous just for having asked the question, you know, because this is a, not an organized sport. These wheel sports are individual sports, they're self-motivated sports. So one of the things that happens with these kinds of sports is that they get overlooked, you know, and there's not an organized constituency advocating and speaking for, for that sport. And so just by asking the question, we brought all these people together, all giving their desire and their input. And so we had 90% of uh, students who uh, uh, wanted a skate park in Belmont. And we had 90% of the adults who filled out the survey, which was about 246 adults on behalf of their families who also were supportive of a skate park. And I think it was a seven, somewhere in the 76% range uh, said they weren't currently satisfied with the spaces available in Belmont for, for these sports. So uh, Joe's right. I mean, the, the, the response was so encouraging and so informative for us. Right, and I understand you presented to the uh, Recreation Commission on July 13. How did it go? The response was uniformly positive and very encouraging from each and every person. <laughs> uh, and so we're very um, hopeful that we'll be able to continue the conversations, you know, with the Recreation Commission, with the Recreation Department, with the Select Board. And our next step will be to potentially identify a site. And uh, there was a recognition that we have to be creative, you know, because space is limited and there's a number of considerations to take into uh, account and we want it to be a collaborative process where the community is involved in the conversation. So I think we recognize that we have to get creative, but one of the benefits of the skate park is that it doesn't have to be a square, it doesn't have to be a rectangle, it can be many different shapes. So we have some uh, flexibility in how we resolve that or how what solution we find. That's great. So what's next? Are you going to look for a space or you need to keep having meetings? What is next? Uh, well, one of the fun parts of this is we have one team member, Maha Hussein, who's organizing trips to skate parks in the neighborhoods for kids. And so, you know, we posted on Facebook and some people can join and meet up at a local skate park and explore the element, you know, those elements. So we've gone to Smithfield Pump Track. There'll be future trips to Lexington Skate Park. Concord, all the neighboring towns that have one. But uh, I'm also talking to, um, and we, we as a group are talking to recreation directors in other towns to find out how they did it. So uh, we've had conversations with the director of, um, assistant director of recreation in Lexington, and I have one coming up at Newburyport. Um, and they all are happy to share with us how they built their skate park, and that will be helpful to us. And if anything else you would like to tell uh, our community, please do. I think I, I just want to add two more things. I think, and I'll hand it over to Joe. One is that uh, a skate park really builds community. You know, there are so many people in Belmont who practice these sports, but currently they're doing it individually and they haven't met each other. And 
team sports are not for everybody. So it'll be a nice space for people to congregate and meet and support each other and build a community. And the other one is that we always want our kids to develop independence and being able to walk to a local skate park instead of begging your parents to drive you somewhere, you know, that is going to be a boon for the children. So, or for the students um, of all ages. So those are the two things that occur to me. Joe? I also have a few things add? to add that it increases the acceptance of, skate park, of skateboarding and all the other wheeled sports in Belmont, that a skate park would really give the people uh, that skate in Belmont a place to do it without um, the con or the backlash that the um, the town has given uh, those kids right now. Um, it's also very important for safety as a skate park is out of the way, not in traffic, not where um, kids could get hurt. And uh, I think that's probably one of the most important things. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for joining us. And Thank you all for watching. This is all for today. We had Sita and Joe telling us about these ideas of skate park in Belmont. Thank you for watching. Thank you, Maribel. Thank you for having us.